flexing four Gianos in the parking lot. Hanging with the dealers, I just went and bought another one. I just made a super stretch, think I need another one. The bougie got some super cat, I just bought another one. Automatic zipper clips, yeah, that's a super flex. About to turn up on my ex, yeah, that's a super flex. So, all right, gang, I know who it is, man. It's dropped once again. We back up in this building while this building is still a building. Now, while this building is still a building, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't ask for much. Just jumpstart this algorithm. I want to send a big shout out to NFAC, Grandmaster J. Y'all already know how we feel about them, so I just want to shout them out. Much love goes your way. I want to send a big shout out to the supporters, all the people that have been supporting, rocking, donating me on this journey. I love y'all just as much as y'all love me. Without Y'all, there would be no me. Y'all already know how we do this. Check this out, gang. I met two new friends, right? This is the whole reason I'm doing this video. I met two new friends based on a video I dropped the day after my birthday. A lot of y'all don't even probably know that video exists because it didn't even pick up a lot of views because I dropped it like 2 in the morning. And it didn't fall algorithm friendly. Y'all know how that shit go. One of my lowest viewing videos end up bringing me two new friends out of where these people was from i don't even care right now but they hold top they hold beef with me right check it because it wasn't a friendly conversation because they took that one video i did in me in new york i didn't even show me in new york what i did i recorded my nephew at the end inside the projects but it don't even matter what they hold beef was is that they tell me it is people like me in videos like mine that gives these kids the nerve and the galls and balls to do the dumb shit they do is because it's like I'm putting batteries in their back by watching my videos. Gang clearly they only watch that one video. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? If don't nobody know nothing else, yo, one thing about me, I've had my idiotic times in the past, yo, but I am the most pro-black motherfucker you probably know right now. So me putting negativity in anybody back let alone your children is insane to me clearly that's why you can tell they only watched that one video but they nerd they had to nerd it because this all started they reached out to me on ig they found because y'all know my instagram is in the description i tell people this if you want to reach out my instagram and my email is in the description so they found me on ig well her because i only thought it was one the lady the lady found me on instagram so we have this little conversation back and forth on ig on how she feel like I need to do a better job at, at clarifying how that wasn't a good thing that we was doing back then compared to what we was do, what these kids is doing now. And clearly she didn't pay attention to the video. It's because now I'm having the same conversation I was having with these two friends of mine that I grew up with. Lady, listen. And I'm, I'm going to address the lady first and then I'm going to address the husband. But lady, listen. Never put batteries in nobody back. I mean, I'm too old for that, first of all. Second of all, you took my video the wrong way. I told you that once we got on the phone. Go back and watch the video. You're clearly not understanding what I'm saying. And I get it. People don't supposed to see shit out of eye. And she said, well, I watched it more than once because I was trying to tell my husband. This is why I didn't even know. When I told you, I thought it was just her. These motherfuckers had the nerve to feel like they was tag teaming, tag teaming me because she was like, I was trying to, sh I showed my husband and he felt the same way that oh, you just making it seem like what y'all was doing was so much better back then. Lady killed yourself because at the end of the day, all that shit we was doing back then was buffoonery too. It is way more buffoonery we was doing back then than these little motherfuckers is doing today. You understand what I'm saying? And this is what I was trying to tell her. Yo, I don't live where you live at. I was talking about New York City. If you did not live in New York City in 89, you shouldn't even comment about it because you don't know what the fuck the elements was. You did not grow up in that area. You did not grow up in that environment. I'm not taking away from nothing nobody else go through worldwide. That's why I don't speak on shit that goes on worldwide if I didn't experience it. You understand what I'm saying? I live these situations, yo. 89 between, I'm, I'm just using me. Between 1989 and probably 1995, I had lost probably five, five friend, family members and probably 10 close friends. These were my experiences, yo. They wasn't yours, so I don't expect you to understand. You understand what I'm saying? 
they was horrible times. Like, and then I jumped to her husband because her husband was trying to tell me, oh, you just seem like you want to be a tough guy. Nah, homie. Never been a tough guy. What I did was survive tough situations. I survived tough environments. That doesn't make me a tough guy. I came out of tough situations. I can't speak on how you grew up. Maybe your situations was, wasn't as tough as mine. And I don't knock that. At some point, maybe I wish my situations wasn't as tough as it was. But at a, at being a child, homie, you have no other choice. You have to play the cards that is dealt to you. That's what we did growing up. You understand what I'm saying? When I tell people you can be, and I hate when people say, well, nah, you ain't a product of your environment. If you never leave your environment, I don't know why you can't be. Yeah, you do get a couple of grace through, through the grace of God, and they make it out. But if you don't see a way out, I mean, what other way do you see besides what is put in front of you? So you can't be a product of your environment. I once was. You understand what I'm saying? So for you to sit and tell me, I act like a tough guy. I'm out here sponsoring negativity. I want to promote the bullshit. Go watch the rest of my videos, yo. Before you sit up here and try to sound like an asshole and a hero to me, go watch the rest of my videos. Don't just come to me because you saw one video that probably was eight minutes long. And now you want to come up with your own assumption about me when you absolutely know nothing. I've had tough moments. You're absolutely right. You want to know the truth? Yeah, I did have tough moments. Am I acting tough now? No, because I survived the tough times. I'm not in them times no more. You change the surroundings, you change the person. Remember that. You understand what I'm saying? I got out of my situation for me to change me as a person. So don't sit on the other end of your phone in the comfortability of your home and try to crucify anybody that grew up outside of the way you grew up because that's unfair to people. You can't determine, you can't base what you think your life has been and try to compare it to how you think everybody else should live theirs, yo. Just because your shit wasn't bad, it is a lot of people that didn't live the way you live. I'm one of them. I just changed my surroundings. I changed my environment. Sometimes you got to... You will you'll be part of the problem as long as you was in the problem. But once you get out, you're not the problem no more because you left the problems behind. I'm not even on this shit trying to preach. I'm just trying to clear up something. Check this out, gang. I know we don't see shit out of eye all the time. I know that. I don't agree with y'all all the time. Just like y'all don't agree with me, with me. But one thing we do is respect it. You understand what I'm saying? I know everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I got my own. So I know you got your own. But I don't sit... And, and and reach out to people just because I felt like you doing something that is not suitable to you. These was my upbringings, yo. They wasn't child. This was how I grew up. That ain't how y'all grew up. I was doing stats in New York in 89. If, if, if them stats did not fit your area at that point in time, you need to be blessed. You need to be happy. Stop, stop trying to make the worst out of a situation that was already bad. Because now you're trying to compare worse situations. That shit is insane to me. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Not making this video long, gang. I just wanted to clear that up real quick. I love y'all just like y'all love me. It's drop. Just wanted to clear it up, yo. Don't hurt nobody. Don't let nobody hurt y'all. And I'm not a tough guy. I just survived tough situations, yo. And I'm out. Peace. I love y'all.